In 2009, Dennis Brutas called for the settling of the Copenhagen Climate Summit on grounds that third world leaders could recognize and should resist. It seems to me that while there has been some progress, we are in the business of making money. And then we have to go to the governments and say to the government, hey, you guys are able to stop the government if you wish. Even the South African police to force them off the land so that Anglo Platts can exploit that land. That's part two of the story. So what you have is a profound disappointment, you have dissatisfaction, you have anger, and all of that is leading to a very unsatisfactory situation. In Peter Maritzburg, and then Nelson Mandela, who had already gone underground and was being hunted by the police, was called the Black Pimpernel. The police were able to arrest him. I should add, for a period, Mandela used my home as his hideout uh, when he was underground. And at that time, I was not quite as much under surveillance as I was later. Things that represent the essence of the society, the, the nature of the society. And there's certain events that represent, I think, what South Africa is about better than others. I th Dennis is a South African activist and poet and is a former political prisoner on Robben Island with Nelson Mandela. And he is presently the president of Jubilee 2000 Africa. Which looks at the role of the churches, the question of faith, but of course raises broader issues. But the churches have been very important because of the notion of jubilee, the notion of the forgiveness of debt. And so that's become one of our main thrusts. Nigga be looking at black, I'm looking at black.